Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is the Kun Ninja Guy, and today I'm going to bring you my second After Effects CS6 tutorial here on ZFix Education. Um, today, what I'll be showing you is how to uh, 3D motion track, in the, uh, specifically in After Effects CS6. So right now, I have my um, cinematic. I'm dragging on the new composition button. Um, as you'll see now, if I would pan through, it's just a cycle through of the comp um, a cinematic. But say, what I want to do is I want to put an audio spectrum on the ground. Which, if you don't know what an audio spectrum is, please check out my other tutorial on that, which will be in the description. Um, what you want to do to start out, you can um, click your right click your clip, hit track camera, or just go to uh, effect. I think it's just effect generate, I think it is. Um, generate. No, I, I don't even look up here and generate, but what I do is you know, I just, you can search tracker here. I can't type it all, my bad. Tracker. It's in perspective, so 3D camera tracker, drag it on there. Now you'll see it says analyzing the background. What it's doing is it's uh, tracking every single frame while you can still go along. Like, say, you know, I want to go over to this frame, which would be the music for the audio spectrum. You know, I gotta see how long this composition is. It's 8.47. So I'll make this composition 847, and I can do this all while um, the other one is tracking. Very nice. Wait, oh, it's burning. Oh, I burned like 60 frames. Shit, my bad. Um, I apologize about the language. Um, please don't hate on me for that. Just one but now we have that. See, it's still tracking in the background over here so analyzing if you click on note here and look at the effect it will tell you what frame it's on but it should tell you what frame it's on here it is right here so you no know, i can just work on this right now what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to make this audio spectrum perfect so i'm making i need the l for the audio levels i'm gonna keyframe the audio levels so that it fades out um if you guys don't know what keyframing is keyframing is very important to uh, after effect it's basically the basis of this program Really a lot, a lot, a lot of key finding effects. That's when they show up or not. See, right now the audio levels is at zero decibels. If I drag it down to negative 48, which means it's nothing, so it will fade in. You see, if I drag it, it slowly goes up to zero. And then here, if I change this one to negative 48, I missed the drag. Now you'll see, slowly fades. Oh crap! I made all of them negative 48. Look. So on accident, I selected all of them. Right, now I go back here, things going to be, I don't want 12, I want zero. So now, you know, if I pan through, it slowly decreases at the end. Um, so now, you know, once you're doing all this, I have my composition all right. Now I'll go back to this one. And you see, it's about 35% done. You can still go on doing whatever you want, but I'm going to uh, come back when it's almost done with this. Alright guys, I am back. And um, if you would see, this is just finished the uh, second tracking, so it, I think it's done tracking. If I pan through here, there should be some points, so watch if I click on the effect. There we go. You see all these points? That's where you can track your um, text or what it's solid, whatever you like to do. So, you know, if, as I can see, I can, you click, I can click one point and see how it looks right there. You know, it's right on here, but that's not very accurate if you only click one point. What I like to do, say if I want to put the spectrum right here on the ground, you drag around, you select a bunch of different points. So that way you're sure there. So now if I drag it back in the background and everything, you notice that this point stays, or this target stays right on the uh, ground. So now that you have your target of where you want to track it, what you want to do, right click, you can see there's all these different options. What I always do is create solid and camera, even if you're doing text, create solid and camera. So now you'll create this solid. Now you're going to right click this solid, hit pre-compose, and name this track 1, or whatever you'd like to call it, I keep hitting 21, but track 1. Now you'll see uh, what we did, if you made a new composition with that, um, so now there's a purple solid, just delete that. Uh, now you're going to want to right click this, composition settings, change this to 1280 by 720 because that's the same size as your, uh, um, no, your, um, Composition. Actually, mine, when I clicked on it, was 19. Oh, I'm gonna find it. It's 1920, I think, by. No, it's 1920. Sorry about this, but it's 1920 by 1280. 
or not? I can't remember. Whatever. So we we'll just make it 1280 by 720. So 1280 by 720. So it's a 16 to 9 ratio. Hit OK. Now you'll see there's nothing here. But say if I want to put some text, like if I want to put a text, and let's make it say uh, ZFix Education. I spelled that wrong. So once you have it, you know, it says ZFix Education, you can um, pull up the title. Action save quick. Um, you go to the move tool, you can just drag this around your liking. And I made that super jungle on this. I didn't want to do that. Just drag, I missed it. drag this to your liking. Say we want it right there. Here. Oh, this title action save just shows you where it's going to be. I think it helps a lot for positioning stuff. So it's nice to see if it's education. If I go back to the composition, now you'll see ZFix Education, the motion track on the floor. Um, that's what I want. But what I what I personally want is I want a uh, solid here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new solid. We're gonna name this just spectrum because I will be making an audio spectrum. Um, spectrum. Okay. And now we need to put the effect on generate audio spectrum. Um, let's just drag the end. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, remember to go check out the tutorial on the um, audio spectrum, which will be in the description. Um, what you, I'm gonna need a audio source, so I need to drag in my composition with my audio. So drag that in. Back to effect control, eagle reflection. There we go. Um, to save that. I guess I'll keep the colors the same. We can make this. Uh, let's just make this a green. Actually, I like green. So green. I'm gonna make this green as well. Here we go, let's crank up this uh, frequency bands to, uh, let's go 150, there we go, so now if we go back to the uh, motion track video, you'll see now there's a, there is a uh, audio spectrum on the floor, very, very cool effect, um, the tracking is a little off, because I mean, after effects, you gotta give it, uh, you gotta give it props for doing this, it's not, it's not a program completely dedicated to motion tracking like uh, Buju. Um, it's that's uh, completely other program. You can export files for Cinema 40 or After Effects or any different program files so that you can uh, create a track. But that's really the basis of this tutorial. Um, thank you guys for watching. My name is the Cool Ninja Guy, and I am out.